How'd you feel playing in the last scrimmage? Uh, it felt good being out there, playing against another, another team again. And they were really athletic and big, so it was a good test for us. And yeah, it was just really fun out there. What do you think you were able to show differently compared to the exhibition game against Cal State LA? Uh, I think I was able to show that I can score, that I can defend well, and kind of lead my team when I need to. I guess. Steve Fisher, uh, San Diego State's head coach, said you were maybe the best player on the floor. Um, what do you think has been the key to you kind of showing this much confidence early on? Uh, just being over, being here over the summer, basically, playing against my teammates. That really helped build confidence in my coaching staff. puts a lot of confidence in me as well. And yeah, that always helps me out there on the floor. How much of Mammoth have you watched? How much of the film of Mammoth have you watched at this point? Uh, I have not watched film yet, but I'm sure we will before the game. Looking forward to this uh, coming up game? Uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Our final, uh, it's not really a test, but it's our opener, so that's always good. And being, being able to play in front of a, our crowd, that should be real fun. What's the dynamic been like with, between the three guards with, with uh, you and Isaac and Bryce? How do you guys feed off each other? And what's the dynamic like between the three? Uh, we feed off each other a lot. Obviously, Bryce and Isaac can really shoot, so me just driving and kicking and getting an open shot, a good look, that really helps them, and that helps me spread the floor, basically, so maybe they'll stay out there on Isaac or Bryce and I can shoot a layup, so we just feed off each other on that way. What's been your biggest transition from high school to UCLA? Uh, being able to become stronger in the weight room, obviously, because the guys are much bigger out here, and the change of pace. I'm still trying to figure it out, but I think I've got it down a little bit right now. What about the defense, man? How challenging coming from high school and coming to college defensively? How difficult is it to you know, play against some of these guys? Uh, it's obviously more difficult because they're faster and stronger. But we work out a lot here at UCLA, so it kind of helps when you're out there playing. What do you think, think you guys showed in the scrimmage that you maybe didn't show as much uh, in the exhibition? It's a great question. I think we rebounded a lot better in the scrimmage, which is kind of surprising too because San Diego State is a phenomenal team and they're extremely athletic too. I think uh, it was a great experience for us for sure. Like, yeah, they were, as I said, a great team and it was a great test for us. So I'm glad we uh, performed what we did in that game. How, how different do you feel in, in terms of your skill set uh, compared to you know this time a year ago? I feel uh, a lot more experienced for sure. I think I know what to expect this time around. I think playing. Um, for the USA basketball team this past summer has been huge for me just because this is a phenomenal experience to play for a great coaching staff and just play against some of the best players in the country every day and um, again I'm going overseas and playing against some of those guys so that was just I think huge for me in my development this past summer. Well, you and Tony, and Tony didn't play the whole scrimmage because you got hurt a little bit but how have you guys been matching up defensively against other teams or even running against in practice uh, running against some, some smaller lineups? Yeah it's definitely an interesting matchup for sure because Last year we were both fives and now we're trying to transition where one of us plays the four and the other one plays the five. So I think it'll be uh, interesting to see how we end up uh, working that out with the matchup, seeing if he guards the four, if I guard the four. Because a lot of teams we play have pretty athletic fours that can drive the ball really well. So yeah, I think that'll be uh, something that we figure out the season goes by and just try to help whoever's guarding that guy to just shut it down defensively. Have you guys been splitting that evenly pretty much so far? Who, who, who guards the four? Is one it's been, yeah, it's been him for the most part so okay. far, but we definitely could uh, switch that up. What do you hope uh, the team, how do you, how, what do you hope, what are the goals for the team other than just winning on Friday? I mean, just, it? yeah, it's the first game of the season. We want to make a statement too, just come out there, play hard, be tough have a good game and yeah, just kind of set ourselves up a, a strong base point to build off of for the rest of the season. What are the things that you think the team needs to improve on? I think our transition game was one thing that stood out that uh, we need to uh, get better at from the San Diego State scrimmage. They uh, did really well in transition and we didn't do quite so well. So I think just, yeah, getting, uh, getting out once you get a defensive rebound or a turnover and just attacking the basket and getting easy points. So. How you feeling? Sound like you got a little banged up in the scrimmage? Oh, I'm fine. I, I did get a little banged up, but it was it was a day thing, so 
I'm over it now, which is great. Thank God. You've been playing with Thomas a bit more. How's that, John? It's good. You know, Tom's a good post player. He's a big target, so when I get doubled, I can throw it right to him. And he's been playing well, so as long as we just keep it up and getting get more chemistry together is big, and we've been doing that, so it's, it's, it's pretty fun. What are your goals this year, uh, Thomas? Um, well, I'm a junior if I'm Thomas. He'd probably say, I just want to rebound well and play hard, but <laughs> since I'm Tony, um, I'm sorry. you know, my goals are just to lead a, lead, a, lead a great basketball team, have a lot of fun, and just let them experience the funness that comes in March and playing well and tough road games, winning tough road games. We didn't do that last year. I think that's a big deal for us to win road games and just have a lot of fun. How do you approach being a senior? Do you have to take on more of a leadership role? Do you, or you stay yourself? How do you approach that? Um, you just, I mean, they, they look to you differently. So, you know, you just got to keep a cool head and just play well. Kind of like how Ventura did in the in the World Series, you know, go Kansas City Royals, that's my team. Been waiting since 85, by the way. And just to, you know, just keep a cool head. He had a tragedy happen to him. He kept a cool head and stayed positive and he pitched a great game. It's kind of like how I look at coming out here, just keep a cool head and stay positive. I can't be too emotional on the bad side because they're, they're looking to me and you want to always be level-headed so they know like I've been through this so we'll be all right. It's quite a way to work the Royals into the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely go Royals. One thing the Royals do is they, they run a lot. Uh, have you been working on your conditioning this season because you're going to be playing more of the four this year with the big, big lineup? Have you, is that one of the things you've been focusing on? Um, definitely because I'm, I'm going to pick and pop so it's, it's a lot different and we play screens a lot different this year too so it's just running is like a thing that we're going to have to do because we got Aaron Holiday and he's a non-stop runner so we just Run with him wherever he goes, I go, and it's just that's how it is. And I try to keep up with him, which I don't, but I try. And it's it's good for me to have a a young, energetic energy bar running around all day. So it's fun, and I think I think that's big for our team. He brings a different aspect, and he helps us run a lot more. How have you and, and Thomas been keeping up with smaller lineups when you play against them? Um, really, I just keep him in front, and I and, and if it's a wing, if he likes to go on a wing, I just force him into time. I just invite him into a seven footer. So. It's, Kind of fun. With another pretty loaded non-conference schedule coming up, what, what can you guys from what, what can you guys learn from what happened last season? Um, just just keep playing. We, we we know it's coming in, and we know we know, like last year we kind of a lot of us didn't know, but this year we all know what's, what's going on. So it's gonna be a lot of fun for us to go on the road and go to big tournaments and big things like that, and play hard and play well because we've been there before. Now it's like our second trip. We're going to like overseas or something. Well, not overseas, but you get what I'm saying, like on the island, basically. So we, we know what to expect, and we know how the distractions and everything that comes along with it, and we'll be able to play better.